because <laughs> so I just made a makeup tutorial like my daily makeup and how I do my eyes it's like gonna be posted below this is just a video on my hair um, as you see my hair is a little different <laughs> it is not real dreads it's like how would I describe it? it is, I call it mock dreads it's my method of visual magic to make people think I have dreads not really it's just like I love the look of dreads and I just don't think I could commit to uh, a whole dreadlock journey um, something that my hair is actually dreaded my hair has been dreaded before uh, like just small pieces there are actually some parts that are quite matted and uh, there is a video on how to do this uh, basically my hair is uh, I, I dread all my hair like not too tight because I do want to take it out at some point like as you see the top part is really like loose like the roots are loose some of the roots are pretty tight because I've sewn them that way especially the front because I used to have Betty Page short pants and uh, you see the thread that's wrapped around here so that's why that root is kind of tight um, so yeah some parts of my hair are dreaded just so they can hold the thread uh, this is a mixture of human hair extensions and uh, yaki synthetic hair um, I find that this the yaki dreads pretty well because the last set of extensions I had were uh, Kekalon, Kekalon fiber, and uh, they were really, really itchy, especially with synthetic hair, and it's dreaded, it gets really itchy. <coughs> okay, so I had to blow my nose. Uh, yeah, so they're all kind of weaved into my hair with thread, and uh, I actually have to kind of fix them up a bit. I don't know. I use a uh, small comb to uh, up brush them. Basically, I use a. Jeez, I can't find anything right now. I use a, a very sh like, a cat hairbrush, and I comb them up, and then I use a smaller comb to like fix them up, fix all the knots and stuff. And then my real hair, I dreaded by just upcoming, because I do want to take it out at some point. And uh, it's getting all stuck in my eyebrow here, thing. Yeah, so. This time I parted it in the center, just because I, I like that look, center look. Uh, last time they were parted on the side, which, I don't know, I didn't really like that much. Because with this I can like pull it back and like the cool thing about this is I can time up when I'm working. Also my sides are shaved, so I look like flip because I'm sick, but um, I wrote 16. 18 inches long. There's about a total of 52 of them. Uh, the problem I had last time with the muff dreads is that the back got matted really quickly so that all of these get clumped together because I sleep on my head. So I have to like kind of straighten those out sometimes. But they're actually pretty good. Um, I want to do this video because a lot of people ask me uh, about my hair and uh, like, a, like in public or at school people are like, oh I love your dreads, well I have to explain like they're not really real, well not always, but I mean I take a compliment, I just, sometimes they ask me like how long have you had your dreads, like two months, so um, yeah but it, it's it's fun, um, I do, I've always enjoyed the look of dreads, especially I'll, I watch a lot of videos on dreadlocks and stuff. And uh, I, just, I just love the look ever since I was, I guess, 12. I remember seeing, like, girls and guys with dreadlocks, and I just thought it was so amazing. Like, I never thought it was dirty, ever. And I think when I was a grade 9, I remember seeing this girl uh, with pink hair, pink dreadlocks, and they were just so amazing. And that, that's kind of like when it hit me. I really want to try dreadlocks. But then everyone's like, well, you'll have to cut them out. and it'll take time and all that kind of stuff and I did a lot of research about it and I figured that uh, getting real dreadlock wood for me and because for me I love changing my hair, I love my hair looking different bright colors and different things, different styles and stuff but um, I don't think I could commit to like having dreads forever so 
because I like my hair short, I like it curly, I like it all kinds of different things, so. Um, this is just an alternative for those who uh, love the look of drug but just can't do the, the dread journey. And I don't know, maybe some people with dreads would say I'm a poser or a fake because I don't have real dreads and I haven't done the journey because like the whole idea of having dreads is a, a spiritual thing and I agree with that too because hair is very important. It's a very like representation of your image or like, the things you go through because like Having normal straight hair mean that you could grow that, you could cut it off, and it's not always with you, but dreads are kind of like people who've had dreads for five, ten years can say the memories that they've had because they've had their hair the same for that long amount of time. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't, I can't really say I'm part of the dread community, even though I have dreads, but. Having dreads is so much more than just the appearance. There's a story to it. And I don't really have that story, but like I said, I just love the look of dreads. Um, I do know a lot of YouTubers who uh, have done the real dreads, but eventually have like taken them out just because for reasons. And I mean, dreads, I don't think they, for some people, they could last a lifetime. Uh, sometimes they get them done, take them out, put them back in. But I don't know. Dreads are just for a certain amount of time, and uh, I would probably change my hair a few more months to maybe like a bright color. Maybe put the dreads back in, but uh, I'm really happy with my hair. Just having this is so much easier. I just um, get up, put them in a ponytail, or just wear them down, and this is how I love to wear my hair. Uh, also, I wash them because everything else, like my real hair, is here, so I mostly just kind of wash my roots and wash little bits here because there is human hair extensions in my hair. Uh, and like, I make sure I use uh, head and shoulders because uh, these do make my hair get itchy. Because this there's a bit of a weight with them. And uh, I guess I like, these I take out maybe in a few months, maybe two, three months because uh, I need to like relax my head. Not like chemical relax, I just let it breathe for a bit because it's being held down by these a lot and also um, I'm all over the place because I'm just so sick right now but uh, I wash my hair about two or three times a week and uh, my hair is pretty clean because it is fake but uh, as the human hair is pretty pretty clean I think this is a human hair bit it's pretty clean so yeah uh, and I will link the video to how I did it um, I've gotten better at the technique so I might update doing that video and uh, oh, yeah